Hi, welcome in Cloud in 5 minutes. Today, I want to show you how to connect to a SQL database from an Azure function using Node.js. Ou si, si vous préférez, j'ai une version en français de ce vidéo. Cliquez juste ici, en haut à droite. Okay, so the demo of today is I will use Postman to call a HTTP trigger Azure function. This function built in Node.js will go query a database and return me the string of the result. Of course, to develop an Azure function, you have many different tools at your disposal. Even you could do it from the Azure portal. But today I will use Visual Studio Code. And I will also use the extension Azure functions available through the market just here it will help us to do many different things directly from Visual Studio Code. Once the extension is installed, you will have a new icon here, the Azure logo. And if you click on it, you will have new functionalities like create a folder, a functions or deploy everything. So let's first create a new folder. So in my dev folder, I will create a cloud in five minutes. Perfect. I will select JavaScript as my language and I will add it in my current window. Perfect. Now it created an environment where I have the host JSON in the settings. What I need to do now is go back to my extension and create a function. So to do that, I will create here the create functions. I will select again my folder and like I say previously, I will create an HTTP trigger. Let's call it HTTP trigger GS for now. I don't care about the name. We'll use a functions as a level of security. So this is the usual template that is created for us. We'll replace this by my code. And let me just prepare that. Okay. So let me do a quick tour of the code. So the library I will be using today to connect to the database is called Tedges and I will show you pretty soon how to install it. So in my code, I just declare here my configuration. Of course, this is a demo and a real life situation. It will do something a little bit more secure than that. But for today, it will do the job. And then once the connection is, is done, I will call my function called get performance. And in that one, I will do my query. So I have a simple table with different values and I will calculate the minimum and the average value of those rows. And then I will extract the data and return the result as a string. Perfect. So now we have the code, but we still need to install our Tages package. To do that in Node.js, you need to create, as you know, a package.json file. Oh yeah, I apologize in advance. Every time I say JSON, I mean JSON. It's a French thing, I'm sorry. File. So let's create a new file. And so this is my package.json, JSON. So here I declare that my dependency about to Tedges. So now save the package.json. You will put it at the root. Voila, now we are ready to deploy. So to do it, we'll use again the extension. We select again folder, you pick your subscription. I will create a new function app. And then you pick your storage. And you wait. Perfect. So now our function is deployed. We still need to install our package. So to do that, we'll go to the portal. If I refresh this, I, will, I should see my function app. There it is. See, we see here our functions. But for now, we'll go hit the platform feature and we'll go in the Kudu interface. So from the Kudu interface, you go in the debug console and you will pick whatever it is, CDM or PowerShell. And now we need to go to the root 
So www root. And here we see our package.json. So from there, we will type the npm install. And that will download and install our package. There it is. It's done. And if we scroll up, we see Tejas is now installed. Perfect. So one thing still that need to be done, we'll go back in overview and we'll restart our function app. Perfect. So now we can go in the code just to get the URL. Here is our, our code. We just recognize it. So to get the URL of the functions, it's here. You get the function URL. You copy that. We'll go back in Postman. There it is. And we paste it. So we see here the token is, is passed for security purposes. So now we call our functions. The function will call the database and return the result. Yay, it worked. Perfect. As you can see, Azure Functions are awesome. You pick the language of your choice and you can deploy it. You can run it even in a container. So today I didn't spend a lot of time in code, but for debugging, you could even debug it locally. To know more about how to debug your function locally, check this video. Also, if you would like to have the code of the demo of today, go on my blog, Frankie's Notes. I will put the link in the description. You will have all the code over there. Thanks for watching. See you next week.